This is the hidden fuel in our cyberbikes and the reason why it can handle 27 kilowatt long term. These batteries are the only reason why we can have such a high current charge and discharge in these bikes because these can do continuous 5C rating and a burst up to 10 seconds 10C. So this is why we can even be charging with 3 kilowatt these bikes. They seem to be such an industrial batteries because they can do thousand cycles and after thousand cycles they lose 20% of its capacity compared to all the other eight 650 cells they're averaging around 300 cycles and then losing 20% of their capacity. They are so easy to work with. No spot welding, no soldering, crimping connectors, and then just screwing balance ports all together. This bag with BMS weighs around 26 kilograms or 57 pounds. You might be asking why is not everybody using these cells and the reason the only single downside of these cells is its size. You can see how big it is and that doesn't fit all the smaller e-bike frames. So seriously this is really usable for motorcycles or e-bikes that have much bigger compartment box for battery. This whole battery pack that has a 22S configuration takes around hour and a half, maybe two hours to build for each of these cyber bikes. If you're worried about fire hazard with this type of a lithium polymer battery, you can see this battery is short circuit and the only smoke is coming out of a wire because that is heating up. Even after heating it and mechanically stressing this battery, it doesn't catch a fire and it doesn't explode. 
Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope this was a little bit educational video for you and seeing a demonstration how easy battery build can be even without sport welder. So thanks again. Please do thumbs up on this video. That helps a lot to the algorithm. Leave us a comment, suggest follow-up videos and stay tuned for another video.